Hello friends, one of the popular error, parse error, there is a problem parsing the package. While installing several application, you will be getting the error message like this. There are lots of reason why you will get the error message like parse error while installing several application. One by one, today we will be dealing with all the possible reason and solution. One the either reason will definitely help you fix the problem. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to fix this parse error for almost all the application. So guys, let's begin. In the very beginning, you need a APK editor. Alright. So make sure that you have an APK editor. If you do not have, I have left a couple of links in the video description. Follow the link in the video description. I have left a two different link. You can download APK editor from one the either link. Just open the APK editor. Once you open the APK editor, editor, click on select an APK file. So you can just select your APK files. You can see this is a file manager. This is an internal storage. So all the application that I have downloaded from the different website from the internet, it is in the download folder of my internal storage. So you can just select the application. You select any one application for which you are getting the parse error and then click on full edit. This might take a couple of minutes. Now you need to click on manifest. At the bottom right you have a manifest. Click on that manifest. Okay guys, so it took a couple of minutes. Now you need to search over here at the bottom. Search for SDK and click on search. So you can see guys, the SDK version 19 on the top and at the bottom you have 23. So leave everything as it is, just change on the top value to 14 and then click on save. So if the problem is because of the SDK version, if the parse error is because of the SDK version, this will fix your parse error. Once you are done with that, click on save again. So on the top you have a save. So if this do not fix the problem guys, just come back to the same APK edit editor Select the application, go to the manifest, search for SDK and change the value to 10 from 14 to 10 and follow the same steps to save. Again, you need to save on the top. So it's the save. So click on save on the top and this needs to complete all the four steps. So you need to have a patience. Let all the four steps 
to complete successfully it will automatically complete and then guys after a few minutes once it is done you can try installing the apk so just get back after a few minutes and then you can try installing apk so when you try installing apk after all the four step is done You'll see guys, there will be no more parse error. Now you can automatically install that ap application successfully. Now let's go on with the second solution. From the home screen, go to the app section and click on settings. In the settings, somewhere you're gonna find security. Here I have lock screen and security. In security, somewhere you'll find unknown source. Depending upon the phone or the tablets you are using, look for this unknown source somewhere in the settings. Usually, you'll find it in the settings inside the security settings. Here is the unknown source. So in some cell phone or the smartphone or the tablets, you'll not have an option to enable unknown source while installing the app. So you might get the error message like, parse error so make sure you enable it click on ok so keep it enabled and just go back and install the application so this is the second solution second steps you can try enable the unknown source and try to install the application again this should fix your issue let's go on with the third solution so the third solution from the app section open the browser so whichever application that you have downloaded and you are getting the different kinds of error like parse error make sure you download the same application again from the different website source for the application let's say whatsapp you can source for the whatsapp on google and you will find a number of website what in order to install the whatsapp make sure you download the whatsapp from the different website Maybe the WhatsApp that you have downloaded might not be compatible with your Android version. So make sure you download the different version of WhatsApp, lower version. If the version of WhatsApp that you have downloaded and trying to install, giving the pass error, try to download the different version of WhatsApp and install it in your device. That might be compatible with your device. It happens sometime when there is a compatibility issue, you might get the pass error. Sometimes the APK files that you have downloaded from the different website might be with a virus or corrupted. So make sure you download the different application from the different website, the different version of application from the different website, and then you can try installing. This might fix your parse error. So the third solution is check for the compatibility and check for whether your application is corrupted or not. Okay guys, the final and the fourth solution that you can try. From the home screen, go to the app section and click on settings. In the settings, somewhere you're gonna see a storage. Click on a storage and here you have the internal storage. Make sure that you have enough space available over here. Right now I have 833 MB available. So be sure that you have a enough space available in your storage in order to install any application sometime because of the less storage you'll be getting the parse error be sure to clear the data be sure to clear the data and check for the available space and then go back and try again to install the application still the error occurs let's get back from the home screen, go to the app section and settings. Now come down to the application. In the application, click on application manager. So depending upon the smartphone or the tablets you are using, you have different ways to access the list of applications that you have installed in your device. Go to the application manager in one the either way. Come down and you're gonna scroll down to all the Google services. Here have a Google Play service. You're going to go to a storage 
and then you have to clear the case. You have to go to the play service for the instant storage and clear the case. Go to the play store storage and then clear the case. So you can clear the case for all the Google services. If you have several other Google services that you are using, you can clear the case. Go back and try installing the application. That should fix your issue. Still there is the error. Open the settings. Somewhere you're gonna see backup and reset. Or you can see the factory restore somewhere. In one the either way, access your factory restore data in your smartphone or the tablet. Be sure to factory reset your phone. This will wipe out everything from your phone and everything will be as like that of the new purchased phone. And then you can install all the applications again. This should fix your issue. So guys, follow these steps in order to fix the past error. So all these different steps that you can follow in order to fix the past error in your devices. Be sure to hit the like button and share this video. You can help out many other people. Have a good day. Catch you in the next video.